Hey friends, it's Amy Dove, the Keto Queen. I hope you're having a great day. It's Monday, the start to a brand new full week of 2024. It's like this is a full week of work and a full week of no holidays in 2024. So I am super excited to get the year started off just perfectly right, which doesn't mean perfect. So you guys know if you follow my page, we eat low carb keto sometimes, low carb sometimes. But I love to teach people how to uh, really change their diet to make sure they feel the best and are having long lives of energy. Not just living, but living with energy is amazing. So we are tonight making one of my favorite go-to recipes. It is an Italian sausage with peppers and a uh, tomato cream sauce. Does that not sound fancy? If you think that sounds fancy, give me some hearts and go ahead and share this video. We're going to talk about what I'm doing here in just one second. As you guys come on, let me know where you're watching from. And if you're watching live, put live in the comments. If you're catching the replay, I'd love to know it. Hit replay in the comments. And I hope you guys have had a great day. So I love to cook fast at my house. I love to cook delicious dinners, but I also like them to be low carb. And tonight's dinner is going to be fantastic. It is a Italian sausage with and peppers. So Italian sausage and peppers with a tomato cream sauce. Like that sounds like Chef Boyardee stuff right there. <laughs> I love fancy names, but this is just a very simple dish that anybody can cook. <laughs> Which if you go to my page, all of my recipes are simple like that. So let me get a paper towel because we want to take the grease out of this skillet. And let me tell you what I have done. The first thing I did before I came live, guys, is I took some peppers. Now, I personally love red and green bell peppers. So what is your favorite flavor bell pepper? I would love to know it in the comments. And guys, if you're brand new, I would also like to ask, like, are you brand new to my page? If you're new, put new in the comments. I'd love to know. So I'm getting the grease out of here. The first thing I did is I took my favorite two bell peppers, which is green and red, and I cut them up in small pieces, and then I cut up a small onion. And then we went ahead and sauteed those in a little bit of avocado oil. You could also do olive oil if you want to, but just a really good healthy oil is what I'm gonna recommend for you. And then what we did is we took the, the vegetables and just put them over to the side. And then I took some Italian sausage. Now you can use the Italian sausage that's ground and just roll it up into meatballs and cook it. Or you can buy the sausage links, which I much more prefer. prefer. I just cut them into bite-sized pieces and take the casing off because we don't like to eat the casing. You can keep the casing on if you want to, but I do remove the casing and then I cooked the Italian sausage in that same skillet that I had the peppers in. So now we're just mixing up the Italian sausage and the vegetables, which is a green pepper, a red pepper, and an onion. You can use whatever peppers you like. Do y'all know they have different tastes? I was talking to some women and they said they did not know that. I'm like, really? Like I can totally taste the difference between a red bell pepper and an orange bell pepper. And I can totally taste the difference between a green bell pepper and a red bell pepper. But some people said they had no idea. So in this recipe, the link is in the post. You can follow it to the T or you can make it a little different, but I love it just like it is. So I've got my sausage and my peppers now. How pretty is that? It's already really, really pretty. But we're fixing to make a tomato cream sauce to pour over it. And guys, you're going to love it. So we're gonna put our skillet back on that hot heat. Ooh, and that is hot. We'll put that skillet back on the hot heat. Can y'all see that okay? We're going to add some heavy cream. So I've got a full cup of heavy cream. Now, if you only want to cook a little bit of cream sauce, you want to start with less. I am cooking this casserole dish, has one pound of sausage, and it's got one small bell pepper, green, one small red, and a little bit of an onion. So I'm, I'm cooking a little less than I normally do, because Ricky's going to be traveling the end of the week, so I'm going to have leftovers just for myself. So I'm using one cup of, of heavy cream. We're going to do two tablespoons of a tomato paste. We're making a tomato cream sauce. If you guys have questions for me, you can put them in the comments, but I would love to know if you're new to my page, put new. And if you're catching me live, put live. So we're going to let that tomato paste, can y'all see that okay? Let's see if I can pull this backwards on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go, can y'all see that better? I think you can see it better. Oh yeah, now you can see it a little better. Can you give me some hearts? There we go. So we're just gonna let this tomato sauce, this tomato paste, gonna kinda let it um, 
start to get soft and let it simmer in with this heavy cream. The next thing we're gonna do is add some beef broth. We're gonna do two tablespoons of beef broth, just like we did two tablespoons of tomato paste. Very easy, delicious recipe. So we got two tablespoons of beef broth, two tablespoons of tomato paste, one cup or less of heavy cream, and then we've got a little bit of seasonings we're gonna add. We're gonna add some salt and pepper, of course, because you always wanna add salt and pepper to your dish. But then we're also gonna add some Italian seasoning. I'm gonna do one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And then of course the onion and the pepper, it already has a taste. It's already flavored, like it's a natural seasoning. And I love it, I love peppers and onions. So guys, if you're looking for easy recipes for 2024, if you're looking for low carb living or even keto, because I love keto, then you're in the right place. And I hope that you will share all of my videos so we can show everybody how simple it is to live a low carb lifestyle. And the difference between keto and low carb is just the amount of carbs. So like if you wanna do keto, I recommend that you keep your carb counts roughly 25 net carbs or less per day. And if you're doing low carb, then it really is considered anywhere between 150 to 200 carbs a day. Or 50, I'm sorry, 50 to 150 to two. So let's say 50 to 200. 50 to 200 would be considered low carb. Keto is 25 net carbs or less a day. So you get to determine if you want to live more keto, which I love, or if you want to do more low carb. But I promote both and I teach both because it's just a better way of eating and much better way of gaining energy every single day based on what you eat. So look at this tomato cream sauce. Look at how beautiful that is. Now tell me, that looks gorgeous, does it not? Now I've got it on really low heat, like a really low simmer, because we want it to get a little thick, but not thick thick. Like we want to be able to pick it up and, and see a sauce, maybe. I got holes in my spoon, yeah. It's hard to pick it up and see a sauce, so I got holes in my spoon. We don't want it so thick that you have to, uh, you know, muddle it out. But this is perfect. It looks absolutely divine. The only thing I didn't do was add some salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna add a splash of salt, which is my real salt. It's not table salt. It's, uh, I like to use Redmond's real salt, but you can use any pink Himalayan salt. And it will definitely make a difference in uh, your meals because pink Himalayan salt has a better taste and it's just a better, healthier salt. All right, so look how beautiful this is. We're gonna pour this tomato cream sauce right over our sausage and peppers. Ooh, now you can make it thicker if you want to. Thicker the better, but I'm in a hurry. I've got my oven on 350. I'm not wasting any of this. No, sir. We're gonna stir it around. Can't waste that, that's the good stuff right there. All right, let me get this out of the way so y'all can see. All right, and we're just gonna stir this sausage and peppers into the cream sauce. This is a tomato cream sauce. And then we're gonna top it off with some mozzarella and Parmesan. Now, I love cheese. If you guys are following me, you may see that I use cheese a lot. You don't have to. Just because I do don't mean you have to. If you don't like cheese, you can leave it off. If you wanna add just a little tiny bit of cheese for the taste, you can add a little tiny bit, but cheese is just one of my favorite things. So I'm gonna personally add some mozzarella and a little bit of Parmesan to the top of this, and we're gonna put it in the oven just long enough for the, um, for the cheese to melt. So I'm gonna use shredded cheese tonight because again, I got some scheduled things going on and I've got a lot less time in the kitchen tonight than I normally do. But I'm gonna add a little bit of mozzarella. I prefer, much rather prefer a block cheese shredded yourself. It just tastes so much better. Um, I love the block cheese shredded up instead of these pre-made bags, but it is what it is. Mozzarella, and I'm gonna do a little bit of Parmesan. Both of these are shredded. Just a little bit of Parmesan, it's got a really strong taste. And then we're gonna pop this in the oven long enough for the cheese to melt and we've got dinner. It is going to be amazing. Hang on just one second. I'm gonna have just enough time for this to cook before I've got a scheduled call tonight. Let me check real quick and see if you guys have questions for me. I love, love this page. I love you guys, I'm here to help. So if you ever have questions, you're welcome to reach out to me in Messenger, or you can just put your questions in the comments. I always try to come back and answer all of my comments. If I miss you, it's just because it was an accident. 
and you can send me a message, but oh yes, yellow and orange peppers for me. I saw uh, red and green for Angie. Cindy said yellow and orange. Yes, we all have our favorite colored bell peppers. My brother-in-law actually does not like the green bell peppers. They actually uh, make him, they, they don't make him feel good. He's got uh, Crohn's disease, so it messes with his digestive system. Oh, Gloria, just got an air fryer. Oh, I cannot wait, Gloria. I'm actually going to use the air fryer. Let me see what day I'm going to use it. I'm going to be using it on, I'm going to find my calendar. Here it is. Let's see my air fryer. I'll probably, get, look, I'm having to get, get a calendar because it's getting so crazy. Uh, let's see, tomorrow, no. I'll be cooking with my air fryer on Wednesday. And I'm cooking a country fried pork steak in the air fryer. So I'm excited for that. All right. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Do you cook every night? I cook primarily, Terry. I cook um, Sunday through Thursday. Me and my husband generally have date nights on Saturdays, except in hunting season. And Fridays is like our free day. So we'll either eat leftovers or I'll grab a salad at one of our local restaurants. Um, but Saturday is date night. So I generally cook Sunday through Thursday most every single week. <laughs> but I don't blame you, Terry. <laughs> she says she is not cooking it. Well, the great thing is if you uh, cook good, then you might have leftovers. So you don't have to cook every night. Uh, and you can cook really easy. When you're not cooking for like five or six people, it's so easy to cook just a couple of, like we always have a protein and a vegetable. Protein and a vegetable. One protein, one vegetable. Um, hey, MC, how are you doing? I made some Italian sausage and peppers in a tomato cream sauce. It is absolutely delicious, and the link is in this post for you guys to grab as soon as I finish this video, and I just finished answering all the comments, so you guys are amazing. If I am ever any help to you, I ask you to share. There's a share button at the bottom. Share this video. Give me some hearts if my recipes sound great or if I've ever been any help. I just want to continue growing the page so we can reach more people and show them how easy it is really to change your diet in such simple ways that create long-term success. So if that's what you're here to do, share the videos and I will talk to all of you guys tomorrow. Bye.